this is going to be your weekly chakra energy check-in if it's meant for you it's meant for you we're going to take a look at the energies you may be experiencing throughout your chakras or energy centers in the body so as i look to my left out this one back window here i see that it's rainy gloomy dark you know it's a bit of that sad kind of energy and i'm curious to know how you're feeling today like what's your word of the day it is just an odd kind of energy a little bit of heaviness and as i look out the other window to my right i see people moving i have neighbors that are moving and you might say well kelly people move every day this is nothing special well you're right but it's symbolic it's an end of an era you know people are packing it up calling it a day making a move and the weather being a little bit dark and gloomy kind of represents the sadness or the grief that comes with ending a cycle or packing it up. So I invite you in the comments to tell me, what are you saying goodbye to right now? What is it that you're leaving behind? Also, what are you making room for? You know, I'm kind of reminded of the analogy of phone storage. How can you let new memories in? How can you make new memories, add new photos and videos if your phone is full? So maybe this is a sign to purge your phone and let go of some things that maybe no longer serve you. But it's kind of this energy right now where we are transitioning into new, right? Into new things. And there's nothing wrong with that. Your new life is going to cost you your old life. And so sometimes, you know, we have to take a moment, sit in whatever we're feeling, but then let it go and start the new adventure, right? You know that feeling of moving. There's that anticipation. You're just done. You're ready to make a move, but you're tired from the experience. But at the same time, it invites a whole new set of energies and adventure. So anyways, let's take a look at the overall themes and messages for this reading. And we have here open to abundance. I love that. Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Open to abundance. Are you open? Are you truly open? What a gorgeous picture, you know? I see the emerald on the horse's face. You know, that's heart healing, heart chakra. It's abundance, it's fertility, it's new beginnings. Look at this rainbow here as well. You know, it's almost like after the storm, after the tough times, everything is going to be okay. The sunflower, it's a yes. You know, the coins, the abundance. Do you believe that you deserve the best of the best of the best? And it's also a number eight card, which is, of course, infinite. We're ready for infinite abundance. Okay, let's take a look at what else we need to know today. And, oh, I love this card. This is my favorite, favorite card in here. The Healing Heart. Love, acceptance, and romance. Look at this heart of gold. Wow. I just love the gold here. The solar plexus energy, right? Personal power. Gorgeous heart energy. Okay. And let's see what else we need to know here. Ooh, we have lightning. We have a breakthrough. Mm, so exciting. It's almost electric, you know? Gorgeous. Okay, I'm so excited to see the cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, which as you can see has all the different colors of the chakras or energy centers in the body, and look at each chakra in the body, okay? And then we'll take some oracle cards to clarify. So let's start with the root chakra, Okay, let's see what we need to know about our foundation. What's going on right now for us? Okay, the moon. Well, the moon is all about purging and surrendering and letting go. Sorry about the camera shaking. I've got kitty cat here who wants to come sit right in the middle of my cards. Um, yeah, the moon, you know, letting go. It's also trusting your intuition. It's also emotions. It's feminine energy. Are you ready to receive the abundance? I love it. Okay, let's see what we need to know because it could mean many things right now. Let's take a look and clarify with the Oracle cards. The squirrel. You know, it's a little bit of like nervousness, like I said, or anticipation about what's to come. And... It's almost like preparing, you know, squirreling away your nuts, getting ready for, for what's to come. 
but at the same time, you can't possibly plan every detail. And this is what I've been saying lately. You know, you've got to just let things unfold naturally. And we can't get into this predictive programming because we really don't know what is coming our way. Yes, we can feel the energies. And yes, we can anticipate a few things here and there. But you won't know until you really cross that bridge, right? And with this, we have the bodybuilder. So the energy is building. The power. Hmm. I'm reminded of like the song, like I've got the power, right? There's the lightning, there's the breakthrough. Interesting. You can feel it getting stronger, okay? The intensity. All right, let's take a look at the sacral chakra, which is Venus, right? Self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. And let's see. Oh, the Queen of Wands, confidence. Confidence is your key. Believing in yourself, you know, believe you deserve. The Queen of Wands, she believes it. There's no doubt in her mind that she deserves what she has. Okay, Kitty Cat is trying really hard here. <laughs> and there's the Child card, a brand new beginning creativity, spontaneous, carefree energy. This is saying live your life, let things come your way. And let's take a look at the other oracle card here. I love this. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's almost like a little hiccup. Um, book burning. This is all about burning the narrative of the past. In order to have the new, you've got to let go of the old, right? Your new life is going to cost you your old life. Wow. Such strong messages today. Very simple, straightforward. Let's take a look at the solar plexus. Now, I had a couple cards pop over, but it's not what I wanted. I really want to shuffle it properly. And we have the King of Swords. Wow, such strong energy. This is being logical and decisive. You know, I've been saying to people lately that they just have to make a decision. That's really what it comes down to. It's amazing how many people struggle with decision making because ultimately there's this fear of, well, am I going to make a mistake? Am I going to fail at something? What are people going to think? What are people going to say? And you have no way of knowing until you make a decision. And again, I come back to predictive programming. A lot of the times we think if we do something, we know what's going to happen. And let me remind you that you don't know. And also good luck is bad luck and bad luck is good luck. You have no way of knowing. Sometimes something you think is so great ends up being not so great. Or something you anticipate is not being so great turns out to be the best blessing that ever happened to you. You really have no way of knowing. And it all starts with a decision. Just make a decision and adapt. And, you know, I say this respectfully. You know, those of you that are parents, you would never tell your child to give up. You would never tell a child who fails a test or exam or a project or loses a, 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 an event, like as in a, a game or a sporting event, whatever, you would never tell them never to get back up. You would never say, okay, stop, don't do this out of fear. You would never right? So don't do that to yourself either, right? So let's see. Look, yes, the time has come to make a decision. It is the time. Are you ready? I mean, I'm curious. I mean, you don't have to share if you don't want to, but what decision are you debating right now? Let me know in the comments. What's on your mind? What do you need to process? The balloons, fun, freedom, high vibe, relief, celebration, stress-free, let it go. Let go of the fears, the anxiety, the worry. What do you have to lose? You know, that's what I often ask people. Like, what is it you have to lose? If things are not great right now, what difference does it make? Make the decision and see what happens. All right, let's take a look at the heart chakra. What do we need to know about the heart? Ace of Wands, there's a spark, passion chemistry, purpose, something that is driving you right now. The ship going places, moving forward. Maybe you're taking a trip. 
traveling, making moves, whatever that is. It's all about forward motion. We don't want to go backwards, right? We only want to move forwards. And there's the baby. Brand new beginnings, rapid growth, fresh start. New phase. And that's what I was talking about in regards to, you know, seeing my neighbors move. There's actually two moving vans on my street today. Usually you would see like one, you know, but like, no, there's two randomly just, you know, doing their thing and starting a new chapter. And yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely symbolic, you know, and feeling the rain today. It's again, the bit of that sadness or that grief, but it's also the excitement of something new. Let's take a look at the throat chakra. Let's talk about what is important in regards to communication right now. Oh, the hermit. You know what's interesting about this energy is that somebody is trying to gather their words. The communication may not be necessarily ready yet, but it's something that has been carefully thought out or there's been a lot of consideration. Now I'm really curious. Oh, well, this card just read, like didn't even take two seconds. The compass, number 22, it's something that's building. You know, this is about discovery, seeking the truth. Well, that's the hermit energy, seeking the light, seeking the truth. This is about finding your way, know where you're going, make a plan, explore. Absolutely. This could be about finding a new way even to communicate. Communicate more clearly, honestly. Oh my goodness, a lot of exploration. The map. We got the compass, we got the map. Exploration, find your way, unknown destination, new territory. Prepare, figure it out, new perspective. Wow. I almost feel like somebody's ready to communicate or working on a way to communicate a whole new way of being. Doing things in a different way. Let's take a look at the third eye, which is Jupiter. That's your intuition. Expansion. Huh. Seven of Wands. I love this. Getting ready to stand up and make a move. You know, sometimes I describe this card as saying, like, are you on the offensive or are you on the defensive? This is also picking your battles wisely. This is saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to stand up. I'm ready to make a move. And I love that. The world, completion of a cycle, letting things go. Recognizing that a cycle has ended Time to stand up and start that whole new era. There's a breakthrough, right? The question is, are you open to the abundance? You know, sometimes when I look at that card, I imagine a person who sits there with their arms crossed saying, yeah, I'm defensive. I'm not really that open. Or they might have perceived openness. And then on the other hand, I see somebody who stands up for what they believe in, for themselves, picking their battles wisely, not being overly reactive, being smart about how they navigate themselves. Because that's the key, right? I always say, you know, you don't wanna work hard, you wanna work smart. You wanna be smart with your decisions and how you make your moves. Not everything has to be overnight, you know? And not everything has to go exactly the way you want it to, but you gotta take the first steps, you gotta make the moves. And this says person of earth. I mean, you could be an earth sign, dealing with an earth sign, earth sign placements. But this is somebody who's more grounded and secure. Look at prosperous, dependable. This card actually says manager, business owner, banking, CEO. This is somebody who's serious, you know? Hmm. Let's take a look at the crown chakra. Let's look at the download. Sorry about the camera shaking this cat my lovely cat pandy is rubbing her face on the side of the table which of course shakes it she's giving us her vibes today 
Let's see. The Eight of Swords. Listen, don't worry about all the new things coming in. I think that is what is happening with the crown chakra. Some of you might be getting an influx of information, downloads, signs, synchronicities, angel numbers, you name it, whatever it is. And you don't have to know every little detail. You don't have to decipher it all. You just sort of have to take it in, see where it goes, see where it pops up again. I wouldn't give it too much thought or worry. Just receive it. There you go. <laughs> just receive the information. You don't have to you don't have to know everything and you don't have to worry about everything. There's the olive branch again. I need you to surrender. Stop the illusion of the mental entrapment and just surrender. Come to terms with things that have ended so that you can have new beginnings. You know, I was talking about this um, recently that sometimes we'll get a confirmation of something and it may be uncomfortable and it may get to us. But sometimes getting that confirmation actually gives us a bit of closure so that we can move forward. You know, when we don't get that confirmation, we sometimes live in an either nor or a bit of limbo, you know, and maybe this is time to find peace, you know, and to surrender and see what happens. So very interesting energy. Let's take a look at some cards to close us out here. Skybridge, possibility for union. Wow. You know, let me just make an observation here. Because, you know, I put this card right at the very top of the center row. And the moon purging, surrendering, and letting go with confidence, with decisiveness, with a purpose and a passion and a desire to search for the light and to find the answers as you go, to stand up, to pick the battles, to stop overthinking, to get out of that illusion of mental entrapment in order to have a possibility for union. Do you see all the methodical steps that it takes to get here? You know, look at them. It doesn't happen overnight. I mean, here's a question for you. Deep thoughts. Where are you on this ladder? Are you in the purging, surrendering phase? Are you building your confidence? Are you decision making? Are you detaching your energies as in like your emotions from an outcome? Do you have a purpose and a passion? Are you seeking the light, the answers? Are you standing up for what you believe in? Are you consciously saying it's time to get out of the head? Because this is all what it takes to get to here. And none of this happens overnight. Gathering around the power of community. The company you keep is very important. You want to be around like-minded people. You know, this is saying needing direction. If you feel lost in space and you are needing direction, then what you have to do is just start. That's all it is. Just start. Start with some letting go and seeing where it takes you. I really hope this resonates with you. Another deep reading. If you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. As always, I appreciate a like, a comment, a subscribe. It really does mean the world to me. So thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing day.